Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on S3 and the exploration continues. Yeah, We're going to yeah. take you to London once again. It's one of the most popular destinations for students, both local and international. The home of the Big Ben has several elite universities that provide quality education, it promotes academic excellence and offers broad career opportunities. And South African student um, Alia Vayez finds herself in London as she is completing her master's degree. In fact, I hear that the master's degree may have actually wrapped up already and she could actually be on an island right now. We'll find out soon enough. Alia, welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Hi there, guys. So, thanks so much for having me. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Alia, I'm so jealous right now. I believe you're somewhere in Spain living your best life. Where are you? Are you really in Spain? Uh, yeah, I just came, uh, flew from Barcelona to a small island called Mallorca off the coast of Spain. Must, Must be nice. Yo, thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Gracias. Okay, now that we have FOMO, it's a good place to start. Um, so, is it true, did the graduation happen recently? Uh, I'm talking about a Master's in International Relations at the London School of Economics and Political Science. Yes, yeah, so I handed in my dissertation, uh, which was my final kind of component of my master's degree last week. Uh, and the graduation will happen in December, hopefully. Uh, but otherwise, I'm done with it now. <laughs> I have to ask you this. Why, why UK? Why did you want to study in the UK? Well, uh, I th so it, I think it basically started uh, last year when I was awarded the Commonwealth uh, Master's Scholarship for a uh, full-time study uh, in the UK. And um, yeah, I think studying international relations, there are so many leading experts and practitioners um, on the side of the world that being in the center of London, um, studying what I want to study is, was, just, was just right. Alia, I would love to ask, what part of South Africa are you from? Cape Town. Cape oh, Town. yes. She's a I could tell. Girl. There was a feeling from you, and I, it's almost like you wanted to say, I miss Gatsby's. It's like you, you wanted to <laughs> oh, say it. I feel like it was there. Right? I mean, yes, definitely. I miss Cape, to like Cape Townian food. Uh, 100%. <laughs> Shame. Let's not ponder on Cape Town. I'm, we I'm will, sorry, we will, man. We will send you a piece of Gatsby and yeah, a pack away, Bucky. But what have you enjoyed the most about being in the UK? Um, truly, I think just the, just the fast pace of the city. Um, everybody's out here hustling really hard. Um, people are so determined to, to, you know, make the most of the city, make the most of the opportunities the city has to offer, whether it's work, whether it's lifestyle or travel. Um, it's so accessible for just about everyone to kind of pursue their dreams, no matter, you know, no matter which field you're in. So I think uh, it's, it's a good pace for someone who's young and who's ready to, you know, work and and live out their dreams. You know, we have a lot of, a lot of parents and a lot of sort of prospective students um, watching the show. What type of tips would you give them if they are planning, let's just say, trips to, the, to London or perhaps studying in London, anything they should know? Um, we want to know all the secrets, basically, to kind of get the, the fluidity of moving around in the city. Um, well, in terms of studying here, I think looking for funding really early because it's it's enormously expensive, yeah. um, especially compared to South Africa. Looking for funding early, there's so many different scholarships, different fellowships, all kind of things like that, um, that I think the earlier you start on applications, the better. And then in terms of tourism and visiting, I think, uh, as cliche as it sounds, uh, definitely just get lost in the city. Find your way around the most common and the least common places. Uh, for food, for, uh, you know, activities, sports like that. Um, there, London truly has something new to offer every few days. I'm, I'm surprised every single time. So just making the most of every street, every corner that you find yourself on. I want to know about the top places to visit. Say if I were to come to London tomorrow, what were some of your top five places that people should visit? Oh, that's so tricky. Um, <laughs> I think I would I would say start on the South Bank. Um, there always there's always live music there. There's lots to eat, um, and you can make your way into the city. So as you walk, you'll see uh, great historical and architectural sites like. Um, uh, St. Paul's Cathedral and then make your, uh, make your way into Hoburn, Covent Garden, where there are even more markets. There are, you know, every spot is nearly Instagrammable. Um, and, and yeah, I think make your way from there, going to Soho, uh, learn about the, you know, the lifestyle. You're, you're showing a picture of Covent, uh, of, of Camden Market at the moment. Yeah. Um, every food market has something different to offer. So I think markets are a good place to start. And what about the man's? Like, I want to oh, know, I'm asking, asking for a friend. Sorry, Alia, I knew like, this. What is the, the vibe on that side, you know? 
Oh gosh, I, um, I definitely, I'll, I'll say it's, it's, it's very diverse. I think uh, London's got a lot to offer everyone. I'll, I'll leave it at that. A lot to offer. Um, I'm moving. Okay, I'm hold moving. on, just, just a second. Uh, London doesn't have a Tabiso, it doesn't have a Graham, doesn't have a Ryle, doesn't have a yeah, Paul. I'm sitting, you know, that very, very carefully, Alia. But thank you very <laughs> much. I think this is such a great conversation because it just shows you that London is kind of a center of opportunity because you had an interview with us from an island off the coast of Spain. Like, that is the life we want to live. So, Alia, thank you so much for taking the time to chat to us today. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Yo, I can't believe you asked about the men. I, I like, I thought to. it was just about this tourism. One, this is my one opportunity. Do you think there's something called, like, finding a man tourism? <laughs> Probably. You see, she's <laughs> going to start a company now saying, find your man today. I'm the CEO. I'm the CEO of that company. Fly <laughs> away, get your bay. Jamie Lee's Travels, join today. <laughs> Thanks a lot to Alia, of course, we're going to travel, but also while we do the UK thing, we also have to pause for a second and find out what's smooth and not smooth. Let's take a look.